life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Here we are in San Francisco, a city on the west coast of the United States of America. The United States is a country on the planet Earth with 250 million human beings. Human beings are mammals, warm-blooded vertebrate animals of the class Mammalia, characterized by a covering of hair on the skin and in the female, milk-producing mammary glands for nourishing the young. They are not to be confused with fish, reptiles or amphibians that are cold-blooded and hairless. The human beings of the United States are a diverse population who, unlike other mammals, choose to wear clothes and, like other mammals, choose to be clean. Here we have a dry cleaning store. The dry cleaning store is owned by Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee is a man, a male human being. Human beings can be either male, like Mr. Lee, or female, a woman, like Mrs. Lee. Females are differentiated from males in that they have two X chromosomes, while men have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Mr. and Mrs. Lee came to the United States from China. China is a country in Asia with a population of 1,260,000,000 human beings, the largest population of any nation in the world. It is also home to the largest population of amphibians, including frogs. Frogs are considered an indicator species. They are the first to be affected by changes in the environment. Frogs are also used in plagues. Fortune cookies were not invented in China. They were invented in San Francisco. In China, families like Mr. Lee's are only allowed to have one offspring or child. Offspring are created through the union of the male sperm and female ovum during sexual intercourse. While both males and females are required in order to create offspring, only a female can bear a child. Mr. Lee and his wife live in the United States where they are at liberty to have as many children and their children can have as many children as they choose. Their offspring are wanted and loved. Mr. Lee's customers are free to make choices too. Individual freedom is the capacity for a human being, male or female, to exercise choice or free will. The United States is considered a democracy based on enlightened principles of individual freedom and showing evidence of moral and intellectual advancement. In 1776, a group of men in what is now called the United States signed a Declaration of Independence, claiming the land and formally stating that they were free from England. This declaration guarantees all humans in the United States the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The United States is the only country on Earth that guarantees the pursuit of happiness. These men, warm-blooded mammals with no mammary glands who cannot bear children, were called the Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers live on Mother Earth. Mr. Adams is a descendant of the Founding Fathers. He is a male human being, a warm-blooded mammal with one X and one Y chromosome who cannot bear children, and lives in the United States. Mr. Adams is not a dry cleaner. Dry cleaners clean dirty laundry. He is a politician, not an amphibian. Politicians are human beings elected by the people to govern on behalf of the people of the United States within the rules of the Constitution. They have the power to pass laws guaranteeing the right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Mr. Adams is what is known as a conservative politician. He believes in low taxes, small government, and creationism. Creationists, like Mr. Adams and his wife Mary, believe that human beings were created by God and did not evolve from other forms of life. The United States was founded on the acceptance of all beliefs, both religious and secular. The US Constitution guarantees the separation of church and state. There is no mention of God in the Constitution. Mr. Adams, a politician, supports an advertising campaign promoting abstinence. Abstinence is the practice of refraining from sex. Sex is a tool that corporations use to sell their ideas and products. Advertisers have proof that sex sells. There's no proof that people buy abstinence. 
For warm-blooded sexual mammals, contraception is the method of choice to guard against unwanted pregnancies. Contraception is also known as a prophylactic. The most common are the pill and the condom. Condoms are also known as rubbers, raincoats, wetsuits, gloves, sausage skins, jimmy caps and a nuisance, but a necessity. A necessity is something that one must have, like food, shelter or health insurance. It is important to know that health insurance covers some pills, but not others. Mr. Adams and Mrs. Adams, warm-blooded sexual mammals with both sets of chromosomes and one pair of mammary glands between them, chose to avoid both abstinence and contraception in 1978. The act of sexual intercourse united the sperm of Mr. Adams with the ovum of Mrs. Adams, causing conception and thus uniting their genes. Genes determine particular characteristics in all organisms. They determine eye colour and hair colour, but not political views. Two conservatives can make a liberal. Frogs have no scientifically proven political views. <laughs> Ashley Adams was born in 1978. Ashley was wanted and loved. 1978 is five years after 1973. 1973 was the last year of the classic Ford Mustang. The song of the year was Killing Me Softly with his song. Congress passed the Endangered Species Act and Billie Jean King defeated Bobby Riggs in the tennis match billed as The Battle of the Sexes. It is also the year that the United States Supreme Court ruled in the case of Roe versus Wade that a woman's right to exercise choice and free will is protected by the Constitution, as guaranteed to the human beings of the United States by the Founding Fathers. Ashley has chosen to become a doctor. Her mother, Mrs. Adams, was told to marry one. Medical students like Ashley learn anatomy, pharmacology and physiology. Most medical students no longer learn about abortions. Ashley is a female human being with two X chromosomes and the ability to bear children. After careful consideration, Ashley and her boyfriend Chad chose to have sexual intercourse as an expression of love and the pursuit of happiness. But not to pass on her genes. He's definitely not the one. Ashley has made an appointment at a women's clinic. No birth control method is 100% guaranteed. She is worried because her period is late. A period is a punctuation point at the end of a sentence. It is also the amount of time that marks a woman's regular menstrual cycle. Women's awareness of their menstrual cycle is thought to have led to the creation of the first calendars and subsequently the human being's understanding of time. This is Bad Le Croix. Bud Lacroix is a male human being with an X and a Y chromosome. Men, of course, cannot bear children. He spends his time preventing women from entering women's clinics. Bud Lacroix values life from the moment of conception to the moment of birth. Ashley and Chad also value the quality of life after birth. Throughout history, theologians, philosophers and scientists have debated the question of when life begins. There is no single answer. Bud Lacroix is a fundamentalist. Fundamentalists adhere to rigid religious principles and are intolerant of other views. They are found in both democratic and undemocratic countries and in every religion. Fundamentalist human beings sometimes resort to terrorism. Terrorism is the use of force or violence to intimidate or coerce societies or governments, often for ideological or political reasons. Ashley will not enter the clinic. She is terrorised. Ashley is also pregnant. Her boyfriend Chad is not. Ashley is not ready to become a mother. Chad is not ready to become a father. Chad and Ashley only want a child when it is wanted and loved. Unlike some frogs who lay thousands of eggs and then abandon them, leaving their fates up to chance. Over the last several decades, amphibians around the world have been disappearing. There may be several factors working to harm the world's amphibians. Among these are climate changes and destruction of habitat. Frogs are left with nowhere to go. 
A frog like this became part of an experiment that first took place in 1688, 285 years before 1973. In that experiment, a scientist put a frog in a pot of boiling water. The frog, sensing that the environment had changed and was no longer conducive to its survival, immediately jumped out of the pot. This time, a scientist put a frog in a pot of cool water. Slowly, over a long period of time, he raised the temperature. The frog could not sense any change. The temperature continued to increase gradually until the water started boiling. Before it registered and could react, it was too late. It is important to know that Roe versus Wade did not invent abortions. They have always happened. Since 1973, politicians like Mr. Adams have passed hundreds of laws to erode Roe versus Wade's protection of individual freedom, preventing women from receiving a legal, clean, and safe abortion. It is important to remember that we are warm-blooded mammals and we live in the United States, a democracy that shows evidence of moral and intellectual advancement founded on the principle of individual freedom, which guarantees the rights of life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness to all human beings, both male and female. It's time to jump. Find out how you can jump into action at lifeliberty.net. 